when I woke up this morning, I had emails uh, about uh, a dress on Twitter. And I was a bit bemused by this because I don't use Twitter very often. And I look at the dress and people are saying there's a huge discussion over what colour it is. And I think, well, that's nonsense because the dress is clearly white and gold. Uh, this is the dress. Uh, and this is, a, this is basically a recreation of the actual picture. So it's just a printout. And um, to me, uh, this morning, this dress is white and gold. Um, and I've got a friend telling me this dress isn't white and gold, it's obviously blue and black. And then I go online and realise that everyone else is also having this debate everywhere. News sites are covering it, it's all over Twitter. And it seems that close to half the people see this dress, when they first look at it, as white with gold trim, and half the people see it as blue and black lace. And what's even more weird is throughout the day, my brain has also changed and now I see it as blue when this morning I saw it as white. There are two things we can do. We can actually read the pixel values and find out exactly what colour this particular image is. And we can also perhaps have a look a little bit at the, the sort of neurology behind why people see this differently. Not to critique too strongly, but this is not a great photograph. Um, there's a few problems with white balance and with exposure. And I think that's probably one of the reasons it's causing so much of a problem. So without knowing what the original dress looks like, we're presented with this image and we make a decision as to what kind of scene we're looking at. We will make an evaluation of what the ambient lighting condition is and then we'll use that to work out what colour the actual object is we're looking at. Uh, and that helps us um, basically achieve colour constancy in different illumination conditions. So we've all had this situation where we might walk outside and the light lighting changes and just for a minute things look a little bit odd and then they go away. Um, and it's just like this uh, with this picture. So some of us will look at this picture and see a white dress in blue illumination. So they think that the, blue, the scene is fairly blue, uh, the light hitting this dress is blue, and so because it's a white dress, it's gonna give off a slightly blue tinge. And other people will be looking at this dress and seeing a fairly yellow scene. So down here in this area, there's quite a lot of yellow light, and we're saying that this is a blue dress being hit by yellow light, which is not having too much of an effect, so we still see a blue dress. And it's particularly the case with this black trim here, that a lot of people see this as black with yellow light hitting it, which gives it a kind of gold sheen and some people just see it as gold because the light's not having that effect. Um, and the two, people can go, two different people can go either way on it. One way of finding out what colour this particular dress is in this image is to literally look at the pixel values and read them. So if we do that for this top region, we get a very clear brown area. So in fact, this particular part of the image is brown. Okay? It's not yellow, it's not gold, and it's not black. So rather than sampling one pixel, because there's sort of shadows here and speckly illumination problems, we take a small region and then we blur it to get rid of any sort of irregularities and shadows, and we take the average value, then the reading I get for this is 112 red and 96 green and 58 blue. So this is slightly more red than it is blue, but it's certainly not black um, and it's certainly not red. So it's kind of brownish, a little bit orange maybe. So if we do the same thing to the top area of this dress, we get a value of 129 red, 144 green, and 180 blue. So this is definitely blue, numerically. The pixels are more blue than they are red or green. But they're not strongly blue, because we ha still have quite high values. So it's quite washed out, and that's another aspect of this image, which is you know, less than desirable. Objectively, in this image, this dress is blue, not white. But obviously some people are perceiving it to be white with a blue light and that would cause it to appear to us to be blue. In actual fact, it turns out that this dress is actually dark blue, which gives you some indication of just how bad the exposure is on this image. Lots of people are looking at this image and going one way and lots of people are going the other way and that's why it's so divisive, is that it seems that the, the, sort of the illumination is, in this scene is very hard to gauge and some people are judging it to be blue and some people are judging it to be more yellow. Um, this kind of optical illusion can be seen elsewhere and this is a good example of it. So um, in this cube we have a situation where this orange square here and this brown square here are actually exactly the same intensity. Um, and this is happening because on the darker side we're seeing this orange square as bright compared to its neighbours and we judge that it must be a fairly bright colour. Um, and on the upside we see it as dark compared to its neighbours and judge that it must be um, a dark colour when in fact they're the same colour and we're just it's how we perceive the illumination on the cube. So this kind of thing happens um, in day-to-day -day life quite a lot but of course in this case it's sort of come to everyone's attention because it's just right on the line between being obvious and not obvious and everyone's got extremely confused. What if somebody's still seeing white and gold doesn't believe you at all? How could they maybe reset their... Uh... Well I just stared at it for a long time so maybe that would help or uh, yes it, it may be but, but just that's how their brain's wired and they may not be able to see it as blue and black for you know for an indefinite amount of time it may just be how it is for them so I wouldn't worry too much about it and I would probably just 
get on with the rest of your day. Yeah, so this morning I saw it as white and gold. I now see it as blue and black. And my reading of the pixels tells me uh, it's actually blue and brown uh, in this image. 